Hello, I'm Chris Holmstrom, and this is The Rundown. The search is on for the thieves who smashed a van into a Chanel store. This happened just before 3 o'clock this morning in Beverly Grove. The suspects got away with some merchandise, but they left the van behind. This is the second time the store has been hit since July. Dropped by another big brand, Adidas just ended its partnership with the rapper formerly known as Kanye West. The issue, offensive and anti-Semitic remarks. The Holocaust Museum in the Fairfax District has issued an open invitation for Ye to visit. And L.A. City Councilman Kevin DeLeon has had his request to be excused from council meetings denied by the new council president. In-person council meetings will resume later this morning, despite DeLeon and Councilman Gil Cedillo's refusal to resign amid a racism scandal. Now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a check of your forecast. All right, Chris, it's going to be a little warmer this afternoon compared to yesterday, but we're still faring a little cooler than normal, so definitely feels more fall-like because of the clear skies that we're dealing with and also the light winds. Starting tomorrow, this is when our temperatures start to drop a little bit more as another inside slider drops in. So this is what's going to bring our temperatures down. Then we warm back up again. So it's that up and down type of pattern by the end of the week. And then we're watching another system that could potentially bring more cooler weather to the area on Halloween Monday. Here's a quick look at your weekly planner so we can help you map out your next few days. So lots of sunshine and then the clouds start to reappear once we head toward Friday. But again, our temperatures are going to start to rebound back. We're basically staying in the mid to low 70s for the next few days for the metro areas. All right, thanks, Amber. Remember, we're always on streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. You can watch us anytime on our free CBS News app and Pluto TV. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Have a great day, everyone.